Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to be looking at SQL injection and I'm going to be using the Matilda website which is a web application that's been specifically designed to be insecure so you can test your penetration testing skills against it. So the one I'm using is the one that's included with Metasploitable 2 which is a, a downloadable VM which is specifically made vulnerable um, for various applications, um, websites etc. Um, but you can download it for, for versions of Windows or, or Linux. Um, let's go into the Matilda website. Um, and we're looking for the OS top 10. We're looking for injection. So we go to injection, SQL injection, extract data. So we're going to be looking to dump the data in one or more tables um, just by using the user info page. So if we go to that page, we get like a, just a normal username and password page with a with an, just a normal enter button. Uh, right. So normally when, we, when we're looking for SQL injection, um, we normally start by entering um, special or reserved characters as far as a database is concerned. Um, that way we're hoping that the, the information is, isn't hasn't been escaped and hasn't been validated, and we're hoping that the database is going to come up with an error and give us information back on the screen about the various types of databases running, uh, what versions, etc. Um, as much money, not much information as we can get out of it, to be fair. Right, so I've got a list of special reserved characters. Right, databases, reserved characters. Right, so I just copy and paste this into the username pad, click on enter, All right, we've got some error message, error executing query, you have an error in your SQL syntax, check the manual that corresponds to your MySQL server version for the right syntax to use. Um, so we know from that it's running MySQL and we've also got the, the, the select statement or select query that's running in the background. So we'll make a copy of this, select star from account, so username equals, and then that's the information we put in, and password equals blank at the moment, because we didn't put anything in the password field. So if we uh, just create, copy this into this field here, and then we go back to our, uh, where are we? Right, so... Select star from accounts for username equals single quote. So that is what the developer or the, or the application behind the scenes is running. Then we've got the information we added in. Then there's another single quote and then and password equals quote quote. So if we check uh, this middle part here, starting with a single quote all the way to the hash, that's exactly the same as the information we actually entered into the username field. So we know that, that this information is the stuff that we control. Um, so we can remove that for the moment. So the top here, we've got the quer this query, select staff from accounts when username equals single quote. So what we need to do is to get this this, this uh, select statement to always be true. Um, if, we, if we can get that to happen, then we should be able to dump the data from all the whole, the whole table. So in order to do this, what we want to do is we want to put an another single quote in. So that gives us select staff from accounts where username equals uh, nothing. Uh, or uh, we're going to put in A equals A. So what we've got there is select star from accounts where username equals nothing or A equals A. Now A is always going to equal A. So from that statement, that should give us the, the always true statement that we're looking for. Now... We've got this bit at the bottom with the, the quote and password equals quote quote. What we need to do is to to, to comment that, that out so that all we've got is a top statement which, which which always will equal true. So we know it's a MySQL database. So if we just have a quick check and look for uh, MySQL comment uh, reference manual. So if we open that up. Uh, we've got the comment, sy comment syntax, so it supports three comment styles, the hash character at the end of the line, also a dash dash, uh, but 
uh, it also requires a second dash to be followed by at least a white space. So we need, we need a dash dash and then a space if we're going to use that, or we can use a forward slash asterisk and then the end of the sequence uh, asterisk forward slash. Uh, so what we're going to use today is is a hash, but we could use any any or all of these, um, but we're just going to use a hash character for this. So if we go back to the screen. So we've got select star from accounts where username equals nothing or a equals a and then at the end of this we want to put a hash. Um, that hopefully is going to comment out the rest of the line so that should give us what we're looking for. Now we can try that by just selecting this part in the middle. Remember this is the bit that we control so I can just copy this um, and then paste it into the, to the login page under the name field. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, records for 16 records found. Okay, so we can see here it's 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 it's, it's dumped the table onto the page. Uh, you know, username, password, and signature for all the users in that database. Um, so that basically is, is is all we need to do as far as dumping the data. Uh, now obviously there's only 16 16 rows on on this table but there could be millions of rows say for example we're only looking for the admin user if we go back to the thing we write remember this is a bit we own so we could just put in here select staff from accounts where username equals uh, username equals admin uh, close quote and then we get rid of this and then so select staff from accounts where username equals admin and then we can just put the hash in again to to uh, comment out the rest of the rest of the line so let's give this a try just to confirm this will just give us the admin account so go back here okay so admin view account details and there we go uh, that's given us admin password and signature just for the admin account uh, now normally or if if if, if, if we think there's possibly an IPS or an IDS or a uh, web application um, proxy, um, then we'd normally look at um, encoding um, that information because it's probably going to get picked up um, by, by one of those. But we'll look at that in another video. Uh, hopefully this video has been useful to you. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much.